We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Oh, it's muted. My mic was muted. Okay. Yeah. I, I look. I, so <laughs> it's fine. We figured it out. Okay. It's cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerds Apocalypse. And of course, TVB. I'm Xtina's Ninja. That's right. And this is the Note of Game Report. We're here to talk about games. No treks tonight. He stayed up way too late playing New World last night. And now he's going to bed. No, I'm, 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 uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> He had some family stuff going on. I'm kidding. Yeah. But he was up he, late as fuck playing New World. Yeah, which I'm I'm actually surprised it didn't brick his entire computer. But we'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, yes. Right? Okay, oh, yeah, it, it's there. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, you know. It's... Oh, it... Ooh. I'm actually... I, I even saved it for the end. That was... That, this is going to be the highlight of the thing. Yeah, I'm actually sad that he has family stuff tonight because I really oh, wanted man. to rip him one. <laughs> oh, man. He's just in the Discord like, that's that's how things go, I guess. But it, look, And you know that's damn well. things should go. You know damn well that if this was like the Final Fantasy XIV expansion or something doing it, he'd be like, oh, no, those pieces of shit at Square Enix, they don't know how to release a game. My name is Trex. You guys can clip that. Go ahead and clip that and send it to I me. I like my Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> could, could, uh, if, oh, could you imagine if like something bricked his Samsung? Oh shit! It, 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 oh, I, 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 I can't believe it. You know. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. We're just sitting on tracks tonight. It's fine. No. Yeah, no, we're rough. We're we're trolling him regardless. Yeah, it's sure. just not as fun because he's he uh, his attendance um, will be marked. His non attendance <laughs> will be marked, and he won't be able to defend himself. That's pretty much it. But that's right. <laughs> Look, listen. It, you know, I came back and, and I had a list of shit to discuss for those four weeks I wasn't here. So like, he's got no excuse. If he wants, if he wants to clap back, he can clap back the next time he's on the show. Um, so, so uh, uh, let's go ahead and talk about it, Raph. What did me? Because I'm trying out a new intro. It's not its final. It's not in its final form. Not that I, I don't know. I gotta work on. We're work. We're. It's a work in progress. Thank you, Arwen. Arwen and I are. We're. We're a team. Okay. Um, and by a team, I mean he's like, hey, check this cool thing out, and I put it on the stream and see what happens. Uh, so that 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 <laughs> that's how that goes. Okay. Um, so and and, and look, I, honestly, I feel like Raph Prime. I feel like here's the problem. I feel like. That you are never satisfied. You're never going to be satisfied because it's silent, you bitch. There's music, you bitch. Like, I just don't know if you're ever going to not bitch. You know you know what I mean? Like, I just don't think it's going to happen. You know, because you'll should never we, be satisfied. Sorry. Sh should we do like a, like a 90s sitcom opening? Oh, that'd be great. Maybe, maybe that'll, maybe that will satisfy uh, Raph. <laughs> Maybe that'll satisfy. Uh, I'm a wizard. Wait, hold on. I'm going to get this right. I'm a wizard. I'm a. I got that right. Just followed. Welcome to the apocalypse. Thank you so much. I need to get like, I have all that, all this yeah. fancy stuff set up for this. But for some reason, it's not on this. It's because Trex normally does this. Okay. It's because Trex only has it set up. That that was music. See, that's what I told her. You'll never be satisfied. Any chance I have, any chance I get to uh, uh, sing uh, Hamilton, I, I take it. Um no, trust me. The trolling wouldn't have a any effect unless he was present. Uh, oh, you were trying to, you were trying to do Hamilton. I thought you were doing some like '90s Soundgarden shit or something. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> um. You'll never be satisfied. He'll never be satisfied. You know that part of the song from the Skyler <laughs> Sisters. I do, I do know. Like now that you said Hamilton, it's like I know exactly which song that is. But it's like while you were singing it with no other context that my brain was connecting to, it was like C or, connecting or, it to or, Savage Garden. I see, <laughs> that was the first band that came up in my head. <laughs> oh my 
Like a drink of cherry cola. Uh, I'm talking about the noise during the opening. I know, I know you were. I'm fucking with you, Raph. Um, Antipas, please, please, what? What, 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 Antipas, what do you want? You want us to, what, the, the clip and send it to Trex? Look, no doubt. If you guys just do it and send it to him, and, and I'll, 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 I'll be happy to say it again when he's here. Um, he might be watching right now. There's, there's a big chance he has a stream on right now. So, um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He just got home, I think, a minute ago. So, I, I, I don't know. Um, irregardless... <laughs> We're here to talk about the gaming news tonight. Um, a lot, lot of. Say, I did, did say, you irregardless. say irregardless. I did. And no, I you I, end. I, you end an argument with irregardless with an exclamation point, and then say nothing else. That's that right. is how you use I'm that sorry. word. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> my, my like English major anyone. coming out. I like to say it around people to see if they react. I also say things like uh, it's a it's a mute point. <laughs> it's just, just, just to see what people say. <laughs> see people catch on and, and correct me. It's fun. It's fun to say wrong things and watch people. I, I sometimes I deliberately mispronounce names on on Final Fantasy fourteen to see if I can trigger them. And half the time it works, half the time it doesn't. And half the time. I actually pronounce them wrong. Well, it's more like 60, 70% of the time, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, so, uh, gaming, what gaming have you done since the last time we chatted? None. <laughs> Yo, sometimes it be like that. It, it, sometimes it do be like that. I, now that my parents are back from vacation, that, cause they took two weeks off. I feel like I can make time for myself again nice um so maybe we'll see we'll see how it goes um i'm feeling uh i'm still on the mend health wise so uh we'll just see how it goes but i will i promise i'll be streaming again soon maybe this week because i have the itch <laughs> what what are you gonna be streaming you know what? I I was thinking either I was going to continue streaming Mass Effect 2 and then take the break or oh dip. You know what? I'm I think I'm just going to drive up to your neighborhood in the night and and steal and steal the helmet and then wear it while I play Mass Effect 2. <laughs> uh. I'll let you just give it back. Um okay. All right. It uh, it was it was fun. We we opened it last night on stream. I had to package it all back away because f most people know this house is full of felines. I just didn't want them messing with it at night. So I packed it all. Ooh. I was gonna put it on the stream, but I didn't have time. I was gonna like open the stream wearing it, but I didn't have time. Sorry. True that. True that. XT, you don't you don't have to steal it. No, why? Here we fucking go. Why, Raf? Here we fucking go. Why? 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 Heather. Heather. <laughs> she might. She might. <laughs> she might they put this okay so they've been memeing in in the discord all right so we start so i this is this is a picture i took last night it's pretty funny it kind of it, it, it's actually i didn't realize at the time it's actually kind of a perfect uh, perfect picture for huh, i gotta do it for kind of what's happening it's like heather heather make i can't know if you can really see heather making like a face in the background yeah yeah you yeah, and I saw just, that picture. Okay, okay, okay. So, so then in the Discord today, I'll go ahead and pull. I'll pull. I'm actually gonna. Uh, well, I can't pull up the Discord. I can't. Yeah. Uh, so, because uh, I'm. I'm, I'm I think that's I, that's well, I think uh, I can, but it'll only be able to show through my teeny window. But I, I see what you're talking about. Any, you guys, you know what you should do is join our Discord, and you'll be able to see what we're talking about. Instead of, you know, Stevie trying to do this. But that's also funny. That's hilarious. I know. I, I was <laughs> like, <laughs> it was so ridiculous. <laughs> like, just, just, I was just like, what are you doing, man? Like, <laughs> it, Heather almost passed out on the couch. It was very well done. It was very funny. I guess I, I can tell by her expression. It was like, what the fuck did you just buy? She said it is. She had no uh, this huge box game in the house, and she was like, "What? What the fuck is this?" And I was like, "You know what? I don't even know if I told you about this. I think that I did." 
And that, that well, was you definitely mis- talked about it on stream, but I don't know yeah. if she was, you know, within earshot. Right. Yeah, I know. She, and also, she, she doesn't ever really listen to me. Every once in a while, she'll listen to come in and talk shit. But half the time, she's, like, doing her own thing, like, watching something on her phone or, or, or watching TV or, or doing something, just doing something else. Uh, reading so, a what book. Is, so what is this uh, made out of? It, some of it looks like it's warbler. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Can you say it, something it's a, else? It, it's a cons- um, it's a foam or, or that you can. It's a moldable foam that um, that you can shape with a well, I would say a heat with a heat gun, and you so can. It, it feels like one of the um, like Star Wars helmets that you could buy that are wearable um, that are like the Black oh. Series helmets. Okay. Oh, like shiny plastic. It's not made as shiny. It just the inside. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's not well. Yes, yeah, but it's also it's matted, at some parts. Gotcha. It's, it's gotcha. Got, it's textured because of the helmet. That, I don't know. I'll, I guess I'll have to just call Heather and say, "Hey, man, can I listen? Oh, be, can I can I borrow? Oh, can I borrow Fuck for it. a really really long time the helmet? How long is a really <laughs> long time?" Until I finish Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which will be probably uh, until October. <laughs> you know, see, so I was when I was opening it, she she found the case, right? Oh. And she's like, she opened up, she goes, "Wait a fucking minute, there's no fucking game in here." I go, "Yeah, I know." She goes, "Are you trying to tell me that this mo- this motherfucker did not come with the game?" Where's the game? <laughs> and I go, I go, it didn't come in the game. And she's like, yeah. how much did you spend on this? And it did not come with a fucking game. And I was like, <laughs> oh, 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 you go die. The, the, the Best Buy one came with the game, but it was $60 more. And they just like pack it. They just like sent you the game too. Like, <laughs> I was like, that's bullshit. <laughs> but <laughs> getting it at Best Buy, I didn't get the special female shepherd lithograph which is actually made out of really really good material you could like nice. knock it like it's like made of wood or something i don't know it was very cool um so and then we had an argument of what was cool or the normandy or the enterprise and obviously it's the normandy of course it's the normandy <laughs> no, 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 but no. okay so okay so like We've already established that the Normandy is cooler than the Enterprise, but which version of the Normandy is the coolest? Oh, two. I agree. That was easy. <laughs> Obviously, it's the Serenity. Raph, you're about to get a timeout. Oh, Raph. One more comment like that, Raph, probably you get timed out. Sweet summer child, Raph. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet summer child. Um... Yeah, boy. All That's right. usually Trex, but he's not here. No, he's not. <laughs> he's playing New World. I, 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 I said in our chat, I was like, I better not see your fucking stream go live playing New World. <laughs> I was like, better, better. <laughs> better not. Brown better not see for that. for life? Alliance, bitch. No. No. Okay. Let's <laughs> see mm. At least Mass Effect I, got three games, you know. What three? Excuse me, four games, and many spinoffs. You got one season on Fox and a movie, and a comic book series. That's true. That's pretty good. That's pretty good comic series. That's true. <laughs> I, I um, watched. The, I watched the movie before I ever watched the show. Did you? I, wa- I watched the movie not even knowing that there was a show. How did you? So I was already a pretty big fan of Firefly when the movie came out. So how how did it how did it look to you who has never seen the series? Like were you lost at any point because there were definitely moments in that movie where it's like, "Huh, maybe I should have watched the show to understand what the fuck is going on." <laughs> to me, it just seemed like another sci-fi movie. I was also like, what was that? I was like 16 or 17, I think. 
and I went. I always went to movies with friends, and we only like halfway watched movies, you know. Uh. So like, it didn't really sink in. And then I like, way later, way later in life, like years and years and years later, I I got wind of Firefly. I started watching that, and I was like, it's like wait, there's only one season. Someone's like, yeah, but there's a movie. I go, what fucking movie? I was like, wait, that movie I watched way back then was like. The sequel to this? Like, are you like what? It doesn't make uh, it. What? It just made no sense. But uh, there, there. So then, then after, after, after watching the series, obviously I watched the movie, and it was, yeah, you know, much, much better experience. But, oh my God, that movie came out in two thousand five. Yeah, I went and saw it. It's like nineteen. Oh my goodness! I don't even. I don't even. Like, 18 to, like, 22 is just, like, one big, like, I don't even know, like. I just got into, what is it, 2005? Yeah, I just, I, I'm i already, by this time, I'm probably, like, a, a year out of high school by then. And I was in college when this, pre- this came out. Yeah, September 30th, 2005. So, I, I, yeah, I was already in college. What the hell? <laughs> it seems like way before that. We talking shits more on Farscape. Oh, listen, mm. it's a dope ship, but it's, but it's not. It's it's you know it's not. It's not the Normandy. It's not the Norman. Um, <laughs> I did I did love Farscape. I lo- lo- loved Farscape. You know what I. That show has never grown on me. I had plenty of friends who were and are obsessed with that show. I watched with them several times, and it's like, it's too weird for me. <laughs> My trooper to this day in Swotor, Star Wars The Old Republic, name mm-hmm. Aronson. Aronson? Is that what you said? Aaron, Aaron son. Oh, I think I get it. <laughs> Ooh, I can't change Stevie's name on Discord to Alliance Bitch. That's right. What? Yeah. Wh- why? Why would I make my name available for you all to edit? Why would I do that? It God literally, name. it literally makes no no sense. Why would you got indeed? Thank you. Uh, why? Uh, oh, good name too. Both, 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 both. Why, why am I? Why? Why would I do that to myself? My my name can't be. I can change all of your names. But I, the, 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 the half this stream is me being trolled by you all. So why would I make that available? Ooh, speaking of changing names and trolling each other. What? Um, that just made me think of a proposition. Um. Can we we should all play co uh, co op XCOM two? I mm-hmm. that sounds mm-hmm. like a great idea. I didn't even know XCOM two had co op. I don't. I'm pretty sure it does, but you know uh, I'm just be- so used to playing single player that i i don't know but if there is if we cannot access the co-op then we <laughs> i say we each co-stream and just kill each, like name our characters after each other and then just kill them <laughs> so i can watch you kill me from up close yes yeah. <laughs> um that that'd be great if that's co-op i'm down for it. I've, I've actually only played so uh uh one i've only played one um really? i haven't played xcom 2 yet i think i own it but like I have this thing about playing sequels before I've beaten the, the previous ones. But um, oh yeah, uh, I, I sorry, played the I first one too. I I never finished it. I had to look up the ending because like I was never gonna get to the end. Just get, like it, I'm I'm never gonna get to the end in the second one. But I still it, love it. It got insanely difficult, and I was like, "This is I'm done. I'm I, I can't do this anymore. This game is hard." Uh, I do. I also have it on my phone. I started playing on my phone. That's fun. I really like to make people. Like I named yeah. um, I like to put my friends in there. I put I put uh, uh Target Tony. She's a staple for the stream. You don't know if you guys remember, but uh, she's we've been friends for since we were like thirteen. And uh, she's you know you can give her a nickname. She's she's Tony. Let him live. Like so. I, 
because one time we went to Target and uh, on Black Friday and someone tried to take a TV to these two two like teenage girls tried to tried to snatch a TV out of her hands and she she lost it she lost it she, she's like what and just just like Miss Doctor Jekyll and I was like let I was like I was on I was holding my TV like let him live let him live like, <laughs> <laughs> I just straight up about to kill him and uh, uh but yeah so it was, it was a good time so ever since then like I've always been like let him live Tony whenever something bad happens um because TV then people will say think well what did I miss for this to happen I need to go and watch the vod henceforth more hints win win or more hits. <sighs> Stop. Yeah. I feel like you're just I, trying to play me now. I feel like I'm just getting played. XCOM 2 and had me using all the safe slots. <laughs> I think I got, um the the last time I played XCOM 2, I had I had I, I was all my new characters or any any new uh soldier that I would get, I would name them after um recent followers and subbers. Okay. I am Wizard. Uh AMA is uh is one of my um followers on my twitch channel and nice, he's nice. probably like out of all of them he's probably the one that lasted the most and he even he died twice so just respect respect <laughs> i gave him booty shorts because <laughs> i was able Look, to <laughs> it's fine we don't judge here on there's the apocalypse okay you do you and that's all that matters uh <laughs> yeah so uh yeah look at like yes yeah, so if it's multiplayer I'm, I'm totally down i love i love co streaming shit like yeah that. i'll have to i'll fun. have to take a look at it again um but if yeah because i'm pretty sure it does because i because i saw stripping play with you saw stripping i saw stripping yeah oh str oh the streamer strip oh I yeah yeah sam oh yeah I, I keep forgetting his last name because I only actually know his wife's last name. But, um, oh, duh, it's Thorne. Never mind. Sam Thorne. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, yeah, oh. I, I, wa I watch him play the XCOM games because I like myself, but I also like other people to suffer. But he's too good at it, so it I only watch, like, five minutes because I get too jealous. <laughs> I, I got clowned for reloading saves. They were like, "What are you doing? Just pull, why are you reloading your save?" And I said, "Because I don't want literally anyone to die." I, I it, think I broke down and switched to just like easy mode. Easy mode, Jesus! It might as well be hard, insane, because I still fucking die a lot. Fucking XCOM, what fun! Fucking All right, XCOM. I love it, but. Fuck that game. <laughs> All right. So listen, if you're this far on YouTube, don't forget we're live every Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Chapters are now installed, so I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. I, I, I am having fun making the thumbnails for Twitch. I made like a Street Fighter because we did the whole Final Fantasy 14 versus WoW discussion uh, last week. So I made like a Street Fighter versus <laughs> thumbnail, like 14 WoW. I mean, it's, it's no question anymore. WoW has officially been dethroned fight me uh anyway so yeah if you're watching on youtube don't forget we're live every wednesday at 9 30 p.m eastern ish today was a big old ish nine mm. it was like 9 35 uh yeah we're, we're you can watch live joining the chat like arwin raf i was all these people have here come 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 and join the conversation it's fun or you can you can type in youtube comments like aaron when she's at work but that's fine too um so yeah what's coming out in games this week coming out so the witcher colon monster slayer is coming out for the ios and android yes it's a mobile game oh, july shit. 21st which is today uh oh, pokemon yeah. unite for the switch android and ios uh that comes out okay it says july 21st slash september is that a typo stevie no it's not that's my fault it's july 21st for the switch and then it's September for Android iOS. I apologize. I oh, wanted to make that clear. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And then Urban Trial Tricky uh, for the PC, Xbox One, PS4. I don't know what it is, but it may instantly made me think of SSX Tricky. Tricky. It triggers you rock around. To, okay. Um, that comes out. That comes out on July 22nd. Last stop. 
for the PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, and the Switch comes out July 22nd. Orcs Must Die 3 P uh, for the PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS comes out July 23rd. Samurai Warriors 5. That comes out for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch July 27th. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles for the PC, PS4, and the Switch also July 27th. Uh, Neo, The World Ends With You. Yes. Um, that comes out for the PS4 and the Switch, July 27th. Tribes of Midgard for the PC, PS4, PS5 on July 27th. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator for the Xbox Series X. Did you have a Series country XS. twang when you said Microsoft? Microsoft. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, I, I, sw I flip between... The, I flip between accents all the time. I don't even notice it. <laughs> um, Microsoft Flight Simulator <laughs> for the Xbox Series X S July 27. <laughs> <laughs> and High Fleet for the PC on July 27th. <laughs> Me and my logo saying Microsoft, 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 my, 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 my get your Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> Microsoft. Microsoft. I can't, Microsoft. I can't do it. Microsoft. Microsoft. I can't do it. I can't do that. Um, all right. I don't mean to change my mood so drastically, but this this, this our, our first topic today forces me to. Oh boy. It forces me to. Yeah. Battle about on July fifteenth, about a week ago. This happened like right after we streamed. Not right, oh, the day after we The previously announced July 2021st launch of Resident Evil Reverse is being moved to 2022 so that the team can continue working to deliver a smooth gameplay experience. We will share updated launch details at a later time. Thank you for your patience. And understanding. Teacher, teacher. Yes. I have a question. Shoot. What type of game is Reverse? Reverse is a game. It's it's a multiplayer versus game where you play as different characters through the series, and as you as you're fighting, you get power ups. When you get these power ups, you can when you you can transform yourself into one of the big bads like nemesis <gasps> tyrant and things like that and then you just like straight up murk everyone on the board oh um, so it's so it's kind of like a uh, a more enhanced version of friday the 13th game and all those other right, types but it's but it's like everybody against everybody Ooh. so yeah so uh i played the beta had a lot of fun did really really well way better than i do in most games um, this was originally supposed to launch alongside Resident Evil Village that came out in May, right? This and then oh. it got pushed back to July, and now it's getting pushed back to 2022. This was supposed to be the big anniversary game. Oh, the, but they couldn't the, get it out in time. They couldn't get it out in time, indeed. And um, now listen. I, right now, there's two sides of me that are just viciously assaulting each other. The side of me that's like, let the game get made properly. And the other side of me that's like, fuck them, release it now. And this, this announcement has torn the community in two. All right? Because... Not saying Stevie B personally, just saying that a lot of people didn't even want this to begin with. And so now this adds fuel to their fire of it being pushed back. So it gets a bit toxic in the comments. If you just Boy. look at the Twitter comments, it gets really bad in there. Um, and it, it's very frustrating. What most here, here's the thing. 
right? What most people want, and I can tell you this, and it, and, and, it, and it sits with me personally, what most people want out of a multiplayer Resident Evil game is a rehashing, either a remake or just a re-release of the Resident Evil Outbreak games that came out in the PlayStation 2 era. They came out before their time, back when a lot of people didn't have broadband or didn't have the modems of the PS2 and couldn't get online. I played those. I played these like, like weirdly set up with Showtime and our friends Frog, and we played hours and hours through every scenario. It was amazing, right? But we had to do these crazy setups, get these crazy things to be able to play. All right, it. That's what most people want, and and I am pretty convinced, pretty convinced, that they are working on. A version of that game but okay. that game is not an easy game to make and i'm sure it takes a lot of time people assume when games like resistance come out and this come out that that, that a game like outbreak can just easily come out the thing about outbreak is it's not just like a run and gun game where you have to like hide from people and fight zombies outbreak is essentially a combination of a story game and a multiplayer game it's essentially playing RE3 or RE2 Remake in a multiplayer fashion. And that takes a lot of work, a lot of story to be told, a lot of re- like it's and a lot of filming because you're not talking about with with the way they do the RE engine, right? It's it's not just we make models. It's we have to have an actor for every single most characters we have in the game, right? Um, but I'm curious as to how bad REverse was being tested or being balanced for it get to push back so drastically far. 2022 seems like an insanely long time to me. And it's possible that they're just shooting for like the maximum and they're going to come back later and say, "Hey, just kidding, it's coming out at this date." But like what what was wrong with the game for it to get pushed back that far? Like well, my uh, go ahead. Yeah, here's my theory. Um, because there has, there has been a lot of contention within like the general game dev world about, you know, crunch time and everything. And I think it was just like, and and with that type of game in general, using the RE engine after seeing, oh, what was that other game where you and a bunch of others were like locked in a room? It was kind of like GTFO where, um, it was, but it. Resistance, Resident Evil Resistance. Was it okay? Yeah, it was Resident Evil Resistance. That game was all right, but it wasn't. It was very repetitive and wasn't on par to what a Resident Evil game should be or what you would expect it should be. So I, I'm thinking they maybe took notes from from that and wanted to improve. And like uh, other and other games like. Um, like GT or no, not GTFO. Like like Friday the Thirteenth. Um, d- no, not Devour, but all those other type of games. They are. They're fun, but the graphics sometimes I feel get compromised a little bit, um, and I don't think that it like that is a um, a, a Resident Evil thing that they want to happen. So maybe they're pushing it back so they can improve the, like, so they can make really big adjustments and make it better and replayable. And they don't want to fall into crunch time. I don't know. I have a lot of theories. Those are the uh, the ones I just listed off and spat it out off the top of my head were just, you know, the very initial ones. So, and I'm well, trying so- to appeal to the reasonable side of of stevie <laughs> right. no and, and you are and it's funny that you bring it up because the people that the, the 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 game development team for resistance are the same development team for our reverse it's the same same group that made it um so maybe they saw where they went wrong with the other game and want to make big improvements i really really enjoyed resistance i played it a lot had a lot of fun pc game though fundamentally broken by hacking uh it's not you know, I'm not going to blame that on the developers. It's like legitimately people go in there and just you just get fucked because you can't move around. They're able to spawn enemies way quicker than they normally could. It, 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 it's, it's, it's broken. It's, 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 it's really hard to play. 
It was a lot of fun when it first came out. I played it a lot when it first came out. Um, I go back every once in a while and play it on the Xbox. I've tried to play it again on PC, but every match I get into, I just get like, just mm-hmm. it's just it's just bad, right? It's just bad. So, um, it's it's frustrating. But, um, it was it was a good game. and the reverse beta was a lot of fun. I had a lot. I had I had more. I'll say this: I have more fun playing the reverse beta than I expected. Um, okay. Even though it was one map, you know, and you had a small, you know, just a few characters because you know it's a beta, of course. And um, but it was just just cool. Not not to mention I did well, so that helped my enjoyment. <laughs> um, yeah, may, like if you did well, then maybe it is truly broken. <laughs> Sorry. Don't clip. That. I didn't mean Do it. Maybe that. I meant it. I don't know. I think you did mean that. I think you did mean it. That's fine. Anyway, so here's hoping that when we do finally get to play Reverse, that. It is a very well done game. Don't got him. Don't say got him, right? That is a, that is a very well done game, and uh, I I just I just I hope for the best, right? And just just so everybody knows, there's some notes from the RE Games team here. Uh, for players, you purchase a physical copy of Resident Evil Village. We recommend you keep track of the included reverse download code or add it to your account now, so you get ready to play when the game launches next year. Uh, sorry on my account. So I don't have to worry about it. But just in case, if you bought the game, you want to trade it in or do whatever you want with it, like put it on the shelf, make sure you redeem your code or save it. Um, it does suck that it's a, like a year. Like it's over six months. So yeah. uh, f- 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 fingers crossed. Uh, f- f- fingers crossed. Uh, and, and it's funny because the first comment I see is, is something from More Reliant on this Twitter thread. And if you, oh my God, something from More Reliant on the Twitter <laughs> okay, I'm done. We all know we're alive. It's just really funny. Um, anyway, okay. So, speaking of things... Well, no, that's not funny. Think of things that are amazing. Do you want to take this next one or do you want me to take it? Oh, I'll take it. So I'm very I'm very interested in it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I know you already invested in it, Ooh. but... Not that much. Um, Five but yeah, not that much. Not that much. <laughs> but, because, um, you know, you're not required to... You're just... Putting a bookmark on it. But anyway. That's true. Steam, or I should say, rather, Valve is coming out with its own portable game system uh, called the Steam Deck. And it's unsurprisingly kind of, it, it takes a lot of notes from Nintendo Switch in that it has it, it the layout is very similar but to accommodate the uh the pc nature of all uh, of all the steam games it has a few differences like um like two little touch pads where you can use as cursors um and i think it runs on linux as well uh if i'm remembering correctly um, I should probably read the website. It runs on Linux, but hopefully, um, it, it is said to run a lot of the games that you have anyway, with a few exceptions. Um, I, well, you can, you all can of also them put Windows on it. That has been yes, yeah, so, yes. They're also working on putting Windows on there, um, if you want to, um, if you wanted to run like third-party systems. Um, and uh, let's see, like there are like maybe a very small list that I can count on one hand uh, of games that don't, that won't run on it just yet. And that's like, um, it, it's all of the, uh, the player versus player games, like um, the one that Ninja plays. Uh, Fortnite? Fortnite! <laughs> God, I'm, my brain isn't that's, working. That's good. Keep the Fortnite people off the Steam Deck. <laughs> Fortnite and just all those other types of games um, won't be able to you won't be able to play on it just yet yet um, but you know the gaming world is full of other games that can be played on it like Control Control is um, is one of the feature games on like their promos and stuff plus Doom Eternal Hades, Ghost Runner um, Jet- Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Empire all that good stuff uh, Disco Elysium uh, so you, there are plenty of games that you can play. There are three versions that, that are going to come out, uh, three models. One that's um, 
three ninety nine. That's the that's the base model. Uh, sixty four gig. Um, it comes with a yeah sixty four gig inter <clears throat> internal storage, but it doesn't have a solid state driver like the like the next two have. So it's going to have um, a dy the one main downside that I can think of is that it's going to um, be slower when it uploads um, certain aspects of the games. Um, so that's three ninety nine. The the middle version of the model is five twenty nine with a two hundred fifty six gig internal storage. Now this is the model that comes with an NVMe. I can't remember what that uh, Nvidia solid state drive internal storage, um, and it has an exclusive Steam Community Profile bundle, which I don't know if many care about that. But that's five twenty nine, and I'm. All of these have expandable storage, so um, if you want to have put more games and 256 is not enough, you can always expand it. Uh, they take micro minis, or no, micro SDs, sorry. Um, 649 is the third version, which has 512 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, this one has the fastest storage, the premium anti-glare etched glass, an exclusive carrying case, um, exclusive Steam Community Profile Bundle, and exclusive virtual keyboard theme. Uh, the Steam Deck starts shipping out December 2021, and you can right now log on to Steam and put down a $5 deposit, which will be added to the... Um, overall price when the system actually comes out. Five dollars. Um, the only drawback that I have been able to see so far is that the the operating system is Linux and that's like I don't I don't know Linux that well. So that's a downside for me because that's a whole nother OS system that I would probably have to learn or not. I don't know. Who knows? Um and of course, that excludes some games that definitely can't run off of that OS. But um, and uh, and this is the more practical version, um, or practical con. It, it, it's a whole pound. Oh, it's a big boy. It's a big um, old so boy. It's a big old boy. So if you have a if you have a Nintendo Switch, you know it's generally light. It's easy on the wrists. Um, Holding a handheld uh, game system that is a pound can wear out your 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 poor little wrists. So <laughs> if you're in it for the long haul, I suggest wearing bracers um, <laughs> okay. or or something. Uh, protect those wrists. And um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, and the battery life. The battery life is about the same as Gen 1 Nintendo Switch. So, um, depend it, it, also depending on the game that you're playing. Right. If you're, if you're playing like a ridiculous game, something that lasts about three hours, but let's be honest. How many of us are actually leaving the house? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, no, but uh, let's see. I can, I, I can see me just like playing all the, like the, yes. the simpler games, like maybe not the heavy games that I would want to play on like a bigger screen but like you know something something like um like night in the woods or monster prom or you know banner saga has a lot of reading so i wouldn't want that on the tiny screen you know just like you know simple games you know um it, it, i will also say that the um while it can play some of these games like um control and um, Star Wars Fallen Order, I will say that the the graphics will not be the same as, like, say, the 4K version you might have. I know. So just be prepared for that. Um, yeah, because the GPU of this bad boy is an 8 RDNA, right? So it's only it's only it's only busting at 1.6 teraflops, but it's fine. It's handheld at 1.6 teraflops. What do you people want? I mean. 
yeah, exactly. And just like it still looks good for the, with the promos. Um, I think uh, IGN had had their mitts on the actual uh, on the actual tech, and so far they are not unpleased with it. So. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I, I think you said you already put five dollars down on it, and I think Trex I, has too. But I'll I'll wait to see I what did. you guys say. Trex and I both, of course, got the most expensive one, but mine's not coming until like mid next year, right? Because you, you can people could still pre-order them now, but like you're like going down the manufacturing line as you you pre-order them, which like. Actually, which actually makes perfect sense. Like, and why Why wouldn't the other companies do that? I, I, I'm not going to get into that. I, I, that actually makes sense. But, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm very excited by this. The uh, f First off, uh, uh, has Bluetooth Nintendo. It actually has a Bluetooth connection, Nintendo. Nintendo, did you hear that? It has a Bluetooth connection, Nintendo, just so you know that. Uh, I, just, I, just <laughs> thought you sh I just thought Nintendo should know that it has a Bluetooth connection. Um <laughs> the placing of the joist, the placing of the joysticks. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, they're very. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that, but maybe it's it's very game geary. But that's fine. I like the game gear a lot, right? I, I don't know. Uh, the yeah. specs in this bad boy for a handheld are, are are very nice, man. Like uh, for for those who want to check it out, I'll put it here. Um, I, I'll be honest and say that like I'm not a I'm not a big spec person. Like I'm not. I don't like know a lot of the terms. And I apologize, but maybe I should be. Maybe I shouldn't be. I don't know. Um, but. Oh, oh, Twitch. Uh, okay, watch. Trex just went live on 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 the, uh, on the on the on the on the game. Let's make sure he doesn't actually stream. I'm gonna get him if he streams. I'm gonna get him. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh. and and um, it has a mic. Yes. It has two mics, and yes. a seven a seven inch touch screen. Um, two two little Damn. mics. Um, some speakers. Track two track pads. Um, then of course two thumbsticks and D-pad and like on the very back of it you can um, there are of course the the bumpers um, the L2 or like the the L's and the R's uh, but you also get um, four more programmable like on the, on the back where you would be touching the bumpers with like your index finger or how how yeah, index finger and maybe your middle finger, but you would also, depending on how you hold it, most likely be touching it with these two fingers. <laughs> um, Heavens. <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. Oh, oh my! Oh heavens! Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I, I'm wizard. Uh, the 3991 is just there so they can say it starts at under 400. <laughs> yes. Without exactly. a doubt, it's a chonker. It's definitely a chonker. Uh, Arn said it's their proprietary OS, Steam OS, which is what Steam Link and Big Picture is running on. It is completely uninstallable, so you can install Windows on it. That's right. That's yeah. That's right. Uh, pe people have already people have already been like, let's do it. You know, the best thing about installing Windows on it is you can also you can put Steam back on there with Windows, but you know what you can also run on there. X Cloud. Let's fucking go. So I think it can yeah, because I think Steam they, machine, they your X Cloud machine, all of it. They Except did mention you, that if you like down something, download something like Windows, you can probably also play your Xbox games on it. Let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, uh, very, very, very impressive. Um, the screen is, you know, uh, 1280 by 800. Okay, I guess 60 hertz. So you get you yeah get 60 frames a second out of it. But I mean. If you know that you're it's, only it's going a to, yeah, it's it's a handheld. If you know it, that you're like just a casual, like not a casual casual mobile gamer, but just like more like a step up from from that casual. But you don't play hardcore graphics eaters. You you play something like Papers Please, uh, like on the reg. Um, then then maybe you wouldn't mind the three ninety nine version. But if you if you're, you know, like the rest of us and play games that are definitely bigger than 64 gigs, then you would, the, the real base here is the middle one. It is the, <laughs> is the, um, uh, how much was that again? Um, the two, the 529 
uh, which has 256 gigs. That's the real base Steam Deck. And the uh, the other one is just a perk. Uh, I mean, 512 gigs and non-scratchable glass. That's about it. I mean, faster storage, too, but, you know, whatever. It also has a gyro <laughs> and haptic feedback. And yes. So that's very cool. So, li I, like... <laughs> Switch is like our 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 new Switch. Uh, the screen is gonna be brighter, you guys. Steam's like, no, I didn't. I, I, well, bam. <laughs> um. So so yeah. So this is uh. If you think about spending the money on the Switch OLED, just spend a little bit more, and get this without yeah. a doubt. I mean, just like what's why why wouldn't you i mean if you're if you love games and you love the games that you downloaded on steam but want to take it with you and not be you know just stuck on stuck at your desk like a lot of us are um you know what yes it's exactly you know what i'm glad you said it's like a switch emulator because to me while we were talking about the steam deck it reminds me a lot about like how innovative Dreamcast was, but it was so uh, before ahead, ahead of its time that no one bought it or understood it, and it it died. So let's not make the same mistake for the Steam Deck, you guys. Don't do let's, it. Let's let's foster its growth and allow Valve to make a you know to keep it around so they can make better versions of it down the line. Because you know we're Very all cool. gonna buy it. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm excited. I'm not getting mine for yeah. till the middle of next year, but that's fine. I don't care. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, so, mm -hmm. re all right, reservations opened in in December. So, I mean, that's when they start coming out. Reservations opened back in uh, on the 16th of this month. Right. You can still. I'm pretty sure they're 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 not gonna un like take turn them off. You just like the later you wait, the longer you wait, the longer it's gonna take you to get the system. It's almost like know. it's a perfect concept. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> burn. So, burn, indeed. I don't really have a good segue for this. I'm including this next bit here, fam, uh, because there's a bunch of weebs in this community, right? And there's a bunch of these weebs and even tracks. Tracks, and I believe even Showtime. So, like, a good portion of us nerds play these games. And so I thought I'd, I thought I'd bring it up. Just quickly mention uh, that there are three new... Yu-Gi-Oh! games unveiled during a Digital Next event, right? This is over from NME by Matthew Ford. All right, the Japanese developer showed off the new titles during its Digital Next event celebrating the, oh, excuse me, Konami. Excuse me, Konami has revealed three new Yu-Gi-Oh! games in development for different platforms. All right, the Japanese developer showed off the new titles during its Digital Next event celebrating the Yu-Gi-Oh! series and fans got a glimpse into what exactly the titles were offering when they release over the next year. Uh, kicking off the shows is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, which will look to bring together a digital version of the full original trading card game. There will be numerous in-game tutorials to help players get equipped with the rules, we will off also offering 4K support. While no official release date or Windows was shared, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel will arrive on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, Steam, and mobile. So you can also play that on your Steam Deck. Uh, next up, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel was then giving some brief time in the spotlight. It looks to take inspiration from the popular Rush Duel card game that launched to print last year, but with its own Yu-Gi-Oh! spin. Wow. Uh, I didn't realize people were still into Yu-Gi-Oh! like this. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush yeah. will launch exclusively on Nintendo Switch in Europe. Oh, and the Amer Americas later this year. It will also make its debut in China in August. The final trailer was devoted devoted to Yu-Gi-Oh! Crostal. Little information was shared about this one other than it being specifically created for the mobile platform. It will, however, feature four-player card battles and look to follow on from the success of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, which has earned over 140 million installs and God knows how much money. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel is expected to receive more information in the coming weeks with a full launch expected on iOS and Android devices. Uh, earlier this year, Konami sacked Barcelona and France striker... Oh, wait, no. Uh, wait, striker Anton Griezmann as a brand ambassador less than a month after signing the football footballer to represent the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. Wow, that's rude. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why. Maybe he got canceled. <laughs> Uh, most recently, Konami oh, held the second yeah. annual Bez 2021 EU Europe Finals with 16 national teams battling it out online. To be crowned the winner, representatives from most major European countries made it to the final group, though England failed. Okay, let's just talk about the fucking football. Okay, so there you go. There you go, fam. <laughs> there you go, fam. There's some new Yu-Gi-Oh games for all you all you weebs playing Yu-Gi-Oh. 
All right. So duel was a lot to I I only know that because like every 3 seconds Showtime would would say that for a minute. Showtime was also Showtime was this level of nerd weeb in high school. He was this level. I'm not Oh no. I'm not even listen. He had one of those things and would would play it in in classrooms with his with oh his, my his... gosh speaking of classrooms i'm gonna t- i'm gonna turn on a teacher voice i'm wizard if you're still in the chat are you playing new world with trex right now uh, oh my I god see you. i see you <laughs> What? Tell him I said. Beep, 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 beep. Tell him I said that. Um, time for the shadow realm. That's right. Get to the shadow realm. My, what is it? I don't know. Uh, they probably are. I wouldn't doubt it. I have a beta key. I haven't even like redeemed yet. <laughs> I I've redeemed mine, but I haven't um turned it on yet. Or I mean, I haven't started the game yet. After, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll talk about the the very last thing later, but yeah, I know, yeah, it's like it looks, I looks okay, it looks okay. I've been I, watching um, play it. I I caught a I caught a when I was finally able to watch um, one of Trex's streams uh, while he was live. He <laughs> spent most of the time that I was watching spent when I was watching. He spent the whole time waiting on the queue to open up at Xanadu. Uh, wow. The Xanadu server. It said, less than four minutes. You're number four. It's like, it was half an hour. How about like you, a... Xana, don't? <laughs> oh! Oh, got him. Speaking um, of don't, how about you don't use your credit cards on what? On, on, oh, on the 3DS and Wii U. Because they are no longer taking it. Your money is no good anymore on those systems. <laughs> Kona, thanks so much stores. for the gift. It's uh, my dude. Thank you so much for the support. I love you. Kiss, kiss, kisses, kisses for Kona. Dude, why'd Don't you me. give me an all Japanese website? I translate uh, oh, you gotta it. translate. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I watch. I read so many Japanese stuff. Oh wait, I should. I mean, I, I gotta do the hard translate. thing and translate. Ugh. I mean, <laughs> Regarding the termination, huh? Hmm? Huh? No, I, I, I just never mind. There's, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, yay! Gay, thanks for the gifted sub. Yay! Thanks for I the gifted sub. I get another gifted sub, Kona. Thanks ah. so much for the support. Kisses for Kona. Don't, don't anybody take these kisses there for Kona. Mm, kisses for Kona. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Those are for Kona. Reg- regarding the termination of use of credit cards and el- electronic money for transportation, let's see how. How good Google Translation is. Um, thank you for your continued patronage. This is the official website um, of Nintendo in Japan. Uh, we are pleased to announce that the handling Please. of credit cards and electronic money for transport for transportation uh, at Nintendo 3DS series and the Nintendo eShop in EU or in Wii U systems will be terminated. 9 a.m. on Tuesday, January 18th. So it's already happened. 2022. Um, oh, 2022. Oops, my bad. I yeah. thought we were already in 2022. I want. I oh, fast yeah. forwarded. Bring so, it back. In <laughs> in a year from now, uh, in a couple of days, um, <laughs> a year from now. Wrong. We'll just say that. I know. I know. <laughs> Shut up. Year from now, a couple days. Fuck it. <laughs> 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 next year january oh fuck yeah january 18th 2022 <laughs> shut the fuck up um <laughs> it'll they'll wii u and 3ds will no longer take credit cards uh, and or electronic money they'll they they just won't take your money uh, anymore um, after the end, you will not be able to add balances using credit cards and electronic money. I don't know. What what word are they substituting for transportation? I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I, I just I read that, too. It's the same for me. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, electronic money for uh, purchasing, or I guess. Like, I, I don't, don't know. know. 
I don't um, know what word that's supposed to be. So payments, uh, payment methods to be discontinued are just the credit cards. And I right. guess PayPal, like places like PayPal that, that you can use. Um, I don't know if I've ever been able. Yes, I could. On on the switch, I can use yeah, PayPal. Yeah, yeah. I, um, so let's see. That they and they pretty much reiterate. Go into detail. New Nintendo 3DS, uh, the 3DS XL, and the new 2DS. Um, their internet browser at the same time of purchase of the main unit. The filtering function that prevents access to harmful sites is fixed as enabled. Um, you can use the credit card in uh, credit card authentication to be able to cancel the setting. But after 9 a.m. on January 18th, 2022, which is a Tuesday, the filtering function setting uh, will not be able uh, will not be canceled. However, customers who have canceled the setting even once can continue to enable and disable the fil filtering function. So I'm guessing the filtering function is the parent setting. I think so. Okay. And you you can also add, you can still add prepaid cards. So like if you need to do a prepaid card, but you can also still add software from the website. You can still buy stuff. You have to link your Nintendo account on the systems and you can still buy stuff e on the website. I think yeah. this is just a way for them to, because the whole, the way Nint Nintendo does things so ass backwards so often. Oh yes. Where like, now. If you bought some shit on the 3DS and you got a new 3DS, you only bought some shit on the one 3DS. Like trying to get that shit you bought on your old 3DS, the new 3DS, was just like a just a pain in the ass. It was so it's such a struggle. So I think this is just this is actually a good thing and a way for them to be like, all right, stop buying your shit on these individual consoles now. Just pay everything from your Nintendo account, and then you can yeah. put the shit on. Mm, yeah, maybe. Like uh, when I. When I tra or when I switched um, from one 3DS to another, I don't remember having that hard of a time getting my games back because I, I didn't have to rebuy anything. But maybe that's just because they were on the same console or same type of console. But if I wanted like a my old um, Game Boy games, like from like older generation Game Boy systems, I would have I would have to buy those again. So yeah, okay, never mind. I get it. <laughs> but yeah, he, this. The, Here's hoping that Nintendo finally launches a shop where you can just buy your shit from the shop and then access it on all your shit, like 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 everyone else. Everyone else, else. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, except for you know uh, Sony, Sony with its PlayStation One games. <laughs> I don't, oh like, why, yeah! Why can't you access PS One games on your PS Four and Five? Someone please, please tell me that X Tina is just smarter than Stevie. Like fucking duh! Like uh, why? Why? Like, That's why I'm on this show because yeah, I'm smarter than it, him and Trex. Right? Like this, the stupidity level was at a maximum high, and we had to even it back out. Like. War, why are you just sitting there spitting straight facts? I don't understand. Like, that's not insulting. It's just the truth. Whoa. It's the truth, and we all know it. <laughs> big brain, just... indeed. x that got big brain. <laughs> uh... um, I mean, I don't think there is anything. Like, yes, you can. Let's see. Once you have a summary. What? What? Okay. About payment method for... Uh, after 9 a.m. on Tuesday. So a after this event happens, the payment methods for Nintendo 3DS series and the Wii U, if you are still using them, which I don't know who is anymore, um, adding balance with a Nintendo prepaid card will you can still do. Um, link your Nintendo network ID um, with your 3DS series or Wii U with your Nintendo account. So anything that you can that you put on through your Nintendo account, you can still use. Um, let's see. Oh, that's yeah. That includes whatever balance you had before your credit card, Nintendo repaid card, and PayPal. But you just can't do yeah, it through the these systems. Right. You have to use the Nintendo website. 
So thank you so much, Dan M, for tipping uh, $1 twice uh, for my beautiful smile. Dan M, I appreciate you. Uh, you are the highest donator on this channel, so much appreciated. Dan M from MN. Uh, much appreciated, Dan M. Uh, and, uh, and thank you for saying I have a beautiful smile. I love you. Ah. Uh, say. See it? Uh, oh, it's on my... It's on, oh, it's, it popped up. It, there's just a pop up, and then I see the the the. For sure, I, I get. I need to set up where it reads the things out loud. I don't have that out yet. I need to set that up. Uh, the, the, this one's all fucked up because I have to like makeshift it because Trex normally runs it. So like, the, all the other streams like read them out loud. So like, I just gotta set it up. Uh, but but I appreciate. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, very very much appreciative. Uh, Dan M. Uh, th thank you for doing it. It's a, it's a guy from it's preach. a guy from work straight up trolling me. It's it's it's, 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 it's a guy from work straight up trolling me. Pretty mouth. Not Hello, and you called me a noob streamer earlier. Wait, what? Okay, that's not. He 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 said I have whack graphics. Look, so he said I had whack graphics on the stream, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, he was just fucking around. I mean, it is kind of dated. I get it. Uh, but then, like, one of our coworkers is like, "Yo, don't be talking about his video card." And then we we're just like, "Get out of here! Get out of here, boomer!" Like, we're we're talking about graphics on the stream, you fucking boomer. Like, are you? <laughs> Well, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, and you don't ha you don't even have TTS 2010. OK, that's enough. Ah. Uh, TTS isn't set up on this on this because it's it's a it's it's a podcast one and I don't need people trolling me like you. Uh, I'm just kidding. I appreciate all the support. Uh, OK, Boomer, I know. And it's funny because like he's I'm like a year older than him. He was just like <laughs> posted something in the Discord for you. I'll check it out. Golden. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, OK, TV, thank you for the support. Much appreciate. I love you. Kisses for OK. Take him. Don't anybody take those kisses except for okay. Kisses. Okay. So speaking of streamers and, and noobs, um, what's going on with Twitch these days? All right, and... so Kataka Oh. No, go ahead. The, this was for you. All you, buddy. Because so Kitaku... you're the noob streamer. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want them. Well, you're going to take them, okay? They're all yours. Uh, so, so Kotaku over here by Nathan Grayson, right? Uh, so everyone knows that we just can't play music on the Twitch streams. Otherwise, Twitch will come to your house, break down the door, shoot you live on chat, and then go on your stream and be like, let this be a warning to the fucking rest of you. You play copyrighted music. This is what happens. That's what the Twitch staff does. Uh, so For added humility. They fart on your pillow and make sure right. you get pink eye. Right. And, and that's after you're fucking dead. Uh, so, so <laughs> you're dead with pink eye. Uh, so this is uh, Kotaku by Nathan Grayson, a way for Twitch streamers to avoid DCMAs that might actually work. Uh, despite unprecedented growth and bargaining, I don't know, I, I can't read the fucking English language. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go stream right now and play copyright music. You should do it. Be, uh, see what happens. You, you'll, you'll get, you'll get wrecked. Uh, uh, despite unprecedented growth, uh, or perhaps in part because of them, Twitch's part past year and change has been defined by dcma woes while it doesn't seem like they're going to abate anytime soon a developer has created an intriguing workaround uh per torrent free well torrent free okay uh well, we don't oh. say that word here uh a game developer named peter paquano madsen i might have fucked it up i'm sorry uh is can you Pequeno is uh, Pequeno, okay, sorry. Is working on. Uh, I'm gonna stop trying. Is working on a Twitch extension called Spotify Synchronizer. The basic idea is relatively simple. The extension, which you can download on Twitch, syncs viewers' Spotify accounts with the streamers, so that viewers can listen to what the streamers listen to, but via official channels instead of secondhand. In the theory, viewers hear all the same music at the same time as a streamer, but musical artists, or more accurately, Spotify and labels, still get paid. Meanwhile, viewers who aren't using Spotify just hear standard game audio. What this means is that even though it's a sneaky backdoor solution to Twitch's problem du jour, it's above board. Madison made this happen by working within the bounds of Twitch and Spotify's APIs, which both companies provide freely to developers. That said, there's some jank to it. For example, streamers have to press force sync button if they want to switch to different music mid-song. This was born of limitations within Spotify's API, but unfortunately, every bit of friction means that the bulk of streamers and viewers are less likely to use it. Also, and this should go without saying, Twitch's DCMA dilemma is the kind of monster you can't slay without cutting off countless heads and made since Twitch extension only takes aim 
at one or two tops. It's very true. Uh, Madsen says Spotify Signal Site was inspired in part by GTA RP streamers who listen to music to accelerate the vibe of whatever crimes or fast food industry work. Remember that uh, they might be doing, but streamers have historically used music for a plethora of other purposes. They also run afoul of the music industry's ever watchful automated eye due to ancient VODs from errors long before labels ever caught, cared about Twitch in game sound effects and other forms of audio that aren't even music, all of which is say is that Spotify synchronizer is a cool idea, but not a silver bullet. That said, it still represents uh, ingenuity that arguably outstripes Twitch's own efforts, which have largely revolved around giving streamers ways to nuke their own content for, from orbit just to be safe. It'll be interesting to see if big streamers turn this extension into a Twitch main straight or if it ultimately fades into quiet obscurity. Uh, this is actually pretty cool, right? So this, this is, So essentially what this means is, I'm playing a song on Spotify. You download the extension. You play the song I'm listening to through your Spotify on your computer. But if you don't download the extension, then you just don't hear the music and you just hear the gameplay and that's it. So I'm not streaming the music, but you're also listening to it at the same time as I am during the stream. Um, it is neat. There's, I guess the delay would be a problem, I think. Uh, but other than that, well, I, maybe not. I don't, know, I don't know if the delay would be a problem. I'm trying to think in my head, and my head's not working right. Uh, maybe Christina's because she's the smarter one. Um, but I think you might have to deal with the delay a little bit. Uh, but that's that's really, uh, you know, not that bad considering everything. Um, it is neat stuff. It, it is, it's, it's, it's nice to see people getting uh, a, a very, like, you know, intuitive with, with trying to figure out this, this yeah. fucking DCNA problem. Yeah, it's... Um, I, I can see because there are a lot of artists who do you know, who do live streams and they play music to, to match the vibe of what vibe of whatever, you know, how like you're, you're doing, you're doing work like drawing and you, you can't, you, no one, no artist that I know is able to do that and not listen to music. So, and, and they do that. They listen to music on stream all the time. They play their playlists and, you know, Sometimes I think uh, some artists used to be able to uh, let chat play the next song. Via I used to do that. Whatever. I used to do that on Final Fantasy. Yeah, Nights. yeah. And um, so I think the Spotify thing is a good idea. Um, you know, just it, if you want to vibe along with the 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 streamer that you're watching, um, and whoever doesn't want to go through any of that or just doesn't care can still watch that streamer play the game. So I think it's a good idea. Um, or you can just have like a, an official playlist and then share them with, with chat, but you necessarily probably won't be playing the same song at the same time, but it's an, it's an, inter it's a new interactive way to engage with your audience again. So I don't know that could work. Or you can be so low viewed like us to where Twitch doesn't give a shit what you put put up. That's true. I can still play whatever the hell, and you know I'd only be dinged for sound effects before the DMCA came into effect. Like fucking police sirens, I got dinged for Whoa, because I that's... I was playing Jenny Leclou <laughs> at the very the end of the, the chapter that I was playing. I got dinged, my VOD got dinged for a fucking police <laughs> siren because some asshole uh, decided to copyright a, po a police siren. Whoop, whoop. That's the he sound just of the had police. to stand, he just had to stand next to a fucking police car that's just go wheel, wheel, wheel. He just had to stand next to it with his microphone. Listen, it's like, oh, this is going to be mine now on the internet. Uh, yeah, because I'm gonna clip that. I, I want to clip clip a, a vaccine saying, "Oh, this is gonna be mine now on the internet." <laughs> uh, <laughs> times that war. That's a peacock twenty four seven on Spotify. Let me see your peacock cock cock your peacock cock your peacock cock. That's right. Let's do it. Um, I'm excited. Uh, twenty four seven. I, I played that on stream. I was like, if I get if I get banned, I could bend. But for playing the peacock song, I don't care. I love that song, <laughs> Katy Perry. She's amazing. Um, I don't care what anybody you say. Katy Perry. I work out to Katy Perry music. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. I don't care. Um, 
All right, so that's cool. I like the idea of this. I don't know if I'll be implementing it. I just play music. Uh, normally, if I'm now when I have Final Fantasy stream, I just play like a Final Fantasy playlist. And if I if it's, it's game music, so if you want to strike me for fucking game music, it's fuck you, Twitch. It's fine. <laughs> uh, speaking Not like of, we make money off of you anyway. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of fuck yous, what's going on over at Activision Blizzard? Oh, all the fuck yous. Hang on. Hang on. Let me. Oh, that, <laughs> that was <Whoop>. no effect. <laughs> so Activision Blizzard suit was sued by California over a widespread harassment of women. So the lawsuit highlights multiple instances of harassment and discrimination that are a, quote, violation of state civil rights. So this comes from, uh, this is another Kotaku article written by Luke Plunkett. Um, let's see. Aha, Activision Blizzard is being sued uh, for, let's see. Is, sued by, is being sued by the California Department of Fair Employ Employment and Housing over a frat boy workplace culture. And it alleges, has, uh, and that it alleges has Oh, this is a poorly constructed sentence. Um, it it has alleged to, you know, foster years of harassment and abuse targeting women in the in the workforce. So um, according to oh, there's a content warning on this thing. The so, um, content warning, suicide, harassment and rape. Uh, so Bloomberg reported that uh, on July 20th. So as of recording this this happened yesterday um there's a culmination of a two-year investigation into the publisher by the department which says that activision blizzard's compliance with california's broad workplace protections is long overdue to enforce such compliance the case says um that the dfeh the department of fair employment and housing brings this government enforcement action seeking to remedy, prevent, and deter their violations of states, civil rights, and equal pay laws, while pointing out the lack of women in leader leadership positions at the company and the difficulties they have faced in gaining promotions. The suit also highlights enormous pay discrepancies at the executive level between women and men uh, and says women are not only promoted more slowly, uh, slower, it's slower, not more slowly. They're also terminated. Yeah, that English major. Yeah, that, that's me popping out. Uh, they're also terminated quicker than their male counterparts. The company's frat boy workplace culture is also mentioned as a breeding ground for harassment and discrimination against women. Some of the examples provided include, and this is a whole ass quote, um, in the office, women are subjected to cube hook. Huh, cube crawls in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol as the women crawl their way through various cubicles in the office and often engage in inappropriate behavior toward female employees. Um, as they, wait, women are subjected to, oh, no, no, no. The male employees, I guess, crawl their way through, crawl their way through various cubicles and on their way subject inappropriate behavior on the female employees. So, um, male employees proudly come into work hungover, play video games for long periods of time during work while delegating the responsibilities of the female employees. I know that very well. Engage in banter about their sexual encounters, talk openly about female bodies, and joke about rape. Female employees are subjected to constant sexual harassment, including having to continually fend off unwanted sexual comments and advances by their male co-workers and supervisors and being groped at the cube, crawl, uh, cube crawls and other company events. High-ranking executives and creators engaged in blatant sexual harassment without repercussions. In a particularly tragic example, a female employee committed suicide during a business trip with a male supervisor who had uh, brought butt plugs and lubricant with him on the trip. That is unfortunate. Um, the suitcase also, or, 
The suit also accuses Activision Blizzard of failing to act on numerous complaints concerning harassment, discrimination, and retaliation from male colleagues over those complaints, and says employees affected were further discouraged from complaining as human resource personnel were known to be closed to or close to the alleged harassers. So the <laughs> DFEH has brought the suit seeking an inject- injunction that will force Activision Blizzard to not only begin complying with the state workplace laws, but also address unpaid wages, pay adjustments, back pay, and lost wages and benefits for the female employees. In January of this year, Activision Blizzard called attempts to make its, wor- to make its workplace more diverse unworkable. Um, uh, or were they call- uh, whatever um there's an update to this article um activision responded to the suit with a lengthy statement um let's see that calls the d uh, that that calls this whole um dfeh and its suit irresponsible behavior from unaccountable state bureaucrats oh so they're retaliating that's awesome um <clears throat> We value diversity and strive to foster a workplace that offers inclusivity for everyone. There is no place in our company or industry or any industry for sexual misconduct and harassment of any kind. We take out every allegation seriously and investigate all claims. In cases related to misconduct, action was taken to address the issue. Um, The DFEH includes distorted and in many cases false description of Blizzard's past. We have been extremely cooperative with the DFEH through their inve- uh, throughout their investigation, including providing them with extensive data and ample documentation, but they refused to inform us what issues they perceived. It's an investigation. Of course they're going to do that. Um, they were required by law to adequately investigate and to have good faith discussions with us to better understand and to resolve any claims or concerns before going to litigation, but they failed to do so. Instead, they rushed to file an inaccurate complaint, oh, gotcha. as we will demonstrate in court. We are sickened by the reprehensible conduct of the DFEH to drag into the complaint of tragic suicide of an employee who is passing, has no bearing whatsoever on this case, and with no regard for her grieving family. While we find this behavior to be disgraceful and unprofessional, it is unfortunately an example of how they have conducted themselves throughout the course of their investigation. It is this type of irresponsible behavior from accountable state bureaucrats that are driving many of the state's best businesses out of California. I have comments there, but I'm not going to say it. The <laughs> picture of <laughs> the picture of the DFEH paints, um, or that they paint, is not the Blizzard workplace of today. Over the past several years and continuing since the initial investigation started, we've made significant changes to address company culture and reflect more diversity within our leadership teams. We've updated our code of conduct to emphasize a strict non-retaliation focus, amplified internal programs, and channels for employees to report violations, including the A uh, ASK list, uh, ask list, <laughs> with a confidential integrity hotline and introduce an employee relations team dedicated to investigating employee concerns. We have strengthened our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and combined our employee networks at a global level to provide additional support. Employee must also undergo, or employees must also undergo anti-harassment training and have done so for many years. We put tremendous effort in creating fair and rewarding compensation packages and policies that reflect our culture and business and we strive to pay all employees fairly for equal and or substantially similar work we take a variety of proactive steps to ensure that pay is driven by non-discriminatory factors for example we reward and compensate employees based on their performance and we conduct extensive anti-discrimination trainings including for those who are part of the compensation process um, 
We are confident in our ability to demonstrate our practices as an equal opportunity employer that fosters a supportive, diverse, inclusive workplace for our people. And we are committed to continuing this effort to the year, uh, in the years to come. It is a shame that the, that the DFEH did not want to engage with us on what they thought were, um, on what they thought they were seeing in their investigation. So that is the end of that thoughts <laughs> yeah uh so i i, I have I, I was paying attention to you but also talking to the chat look i was not yeah. why would i make a creeping emo to that comment i definitely did not mean that like i i'm sorry i i guess i've been interpreting these that emo use wrong i intended it to be like look at me haha not a creeping emote so like i have to go back and think about every time that you have used everyone has used it in a conversation with me now um so oh, huh. <laughs> I, I did not I mean see it like it. that. Yeah, this is this is uh look, uh from what and, and I could be wrong, but from what I understand, this is an investigation that's like two years in the fucking making. They're finally like, you know, drop you know how this shit works, right? You gotta investigate for a long, long time. Um get context. Yes, I'm sorry. well I'm giving context now because I definitely don't want that vibe to come across, okay? Uh for some shit like especially some some wild ass shit like this. Um Except from what I understand, this is a, this is a two year long investigation, and and if there's any fucking like, if, okay, I, 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 if there's even like an ounce of truth to to what's being said here, it's fucking deplorable. Like it, it is it is, I couldn't even imagine acting like that in the workplace, in any job I've ever had. And I worked at GameStop, you know, like, I'm just like it it it. I, I, I could I could never understand going into a workplace and just like sexually harassing female coworkers. The the the, yeah. the worst the worst thing that I've had this is this is towards a female co coworker okay, is 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 I wasn't sitting next to someone I was sitting next to two other guys and and I'm, I'm getting a, a a female sitting next to me and I fart all the time and all I can think is is she going to be okay with me farting like what happens when when it just happens and there it goes and is she going to be disgusted is she going to think it's funny that's it <laughs> yeah it's um uh, hopefully she finds it funny she seems really cool um hopefully but uh, it, if she these allegations are deplorable and the whole the cl I don't know how how do you make up cube crawls though? I don't I don't understand like how that even becomes the thing and starts. I, like I I have worked in a office setting for the past say 12 years and the kind of shit they talk about in these kind of, you know, lawsuits that get filed, I just can't fathom. A workplace being like how has my workplace gotten wild and we like bullshit with each other and like laughed and like things got a little out of hand you know like ha -ha, talking I mean, shit but yeah. nothing even close to anything like this no the, the the closest i can imagine is how is how hollywood has depicted wall street in the 80s is <sighs> I mean, but in California and in the video game industry, it's it's a weird concept to to picture. And yet I'm not entirely surprised because of the content that Activision Blizzard doles out every year. I, I mean, uh, it, 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 yeah, <laughs> um, now it's. I hope that this legal dispute gets handled correctly. I hope that, like, it gets investigated, truth be found, and handled appropriately. Because it's, it's, I just, I can't, I can't imagine. I can't, like, I just, I just, I, I just, I don't know. I, I, just, I yeah. just have a hard, I have a hard time even fathoming like being in a workplace like that and then just like 
watching it happen, just being okay with it. And then not, like, being on Twitter the next day, being like, you guys won't fucking believe what I just saw at, at the fucking Activist. Maybe people are just af- afraid to 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 lose their jobs or something. I, I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. Only it's I mean, I, if, oh, go ahead. I mean, I, I think in two years, a, a disgruntled former employee of EA, or, 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 um, of Activision Blizzard will probably come out as Sam did, as Sam Mags did, after she worked for um, uh, a particular dev company. She's like, she's been two years out of that company already, and she's spilling the tea all over Twitter sometimes, like when she's in the mood. Um, but she can do that because the statute of limitations that have prevented her from saying that is uh, expired. So, and, um, and she's way more successful. Um, now than she was back then and you know she has a little she has better resources but um but yeah i i think two two three years down the way we'll start hearing we'll probably start hearing uh more employees come forward which you know uh if it hasn't come to light in this suit then you know we'll probably be hearing it unfortunately unfiltered through someone else uh yeah so ho- hopefully the the the, the perpetrators and, and whatever, whatever happens here it gets handled appropriately because it's, it's, it's i mean because the suicide fucking... is involved in this suit now so yes it, that that is that is and, and like the description of that was just like what what the what like i just i don't know and like that was that was a difficult sentence to read i know uh, i I'm not gonna lie i, I try to I have I have a problem with with this right, and it's and it's and it's something I'm trying to work on within myself right. I have a, a group of friends, we all think the same. We all kind of live the same. We all have the same kind of way. They, they, the moral compass kind of varies here and there, but we all have a, a kind of the same moral compass. And, but like, there are people out there like this who do that kind of shit, bring those kind of things. You know, these people fucking exist in the world, right? And it's just it's hard for me to wrap my head around. And I'm tr- like I, I'm I'm trying to better myself into coming to terms with the fact that people like this fucking exist and like this kind of shit happens, um, and, and it, it, it it's 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 God it's just it's just hard for me to to come to terms with like and and uh, I just like I, I I don't know I don't know but I like just, the just... the whole yeah the the whole frat boy allegation though I wouldn't be surprised was an actual thing right because again no doubt. yeah a... I mean because again. If you Blizzard. look at, you know, their Activision Blizzard's busi- biggest sellers or biggest games, you know, I mean, just just with Activision alone, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops, all those other ones, like, um, just all the Call of Duty games in general, they come out with one every year, every other year, and the gamer community alone is is toxic as hell just think about the developers i'm sure they work hard enough but just think of some of the people involved in the in the development of those games how their brain works sometimes because they foster that they they let they let that shit grow (laughs) because it gives them money yeah i don't know Uh, i'm i'm Making exceptions. And said, only if it's an accident is it acceptable. Oh, if I toot in my cube. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my cube mate, my, the guy sits across me. He's like, he's like, seriously, what are you going to do? You're just going to just, you're gonna just keep. And I don't, I don't, I don't like, I just, I, I, I think I just gave the opinion that like I rip constantly. It's not what happens. Okay. <laughs> just, but I have a thing, right? Like where I look him in the eyes and I go like this, I go. <laughs> and he's just like that's is that gonna keep happening <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe we'll see uh i anyway. mean it's it's more likely to happen among dudes than than within a mixed gender to com- company so <laughs> yeah. see he- heather, heather when we first started dating made a big mistake uh we, we were sitting on the couch and and she was just like Bram! and i'm like you don't know what you've done. I go, so what are you talking about? I go, I've been, I've been like walking out and holding them in. Like, I guess we're just setting them free. You've opened Pandora's box. And by that, I mean my ass. So good luck. 
Uh, anyway, uh, Aaron says just expect that the next BlizzCon will be them apologizing for the way they act, uh, then doing it even worse and stuff, same as usual. Like, fucking exactly. Uh, Dive says this is what makes the whole thing even more disgusting. They were not just perverted jackasses. They actually pushed it so far that person had to think that there was no way out. And yeah, dude, it's horrible. It's, 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 it, God, man, it's fucking, it's so, it's so, it's, it's un thinkable like it's unfathomable uh warline blizzard don't you women understand jokes <laughs> it's just what it that's what it feels <laughs> like like they're just like don't you understand that us touching your legs under the cubes drunk as fuck is just jokes don't you get we're just like, kidding around oh no boys will be boys i know it's just locker room <laughs> stupid women guys like oh my god man like it just Woo. Yeah. I, I don't, and I don't and when girls are just girls, we're just fucking crazy. I, I mean, I we know, are. Right? You must be we on your period, crazy. obviously. Obviously, obviously. You're on your period. Oh, yes, because, you know, that shit doesn't kill us and send us to the hospital and give and make us get two transfusions and an iron blood <laughs> and an iron drip. No, that shit doesn't kill you at all. Nope. Nope. No context there. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I don't, I don't know uh this we'll see what comes of this you know uh ho hopefully justice is served i'll just i'll just say that hopefully hopefully yeah. we get to this and justice is served and unfortunately because it's you know the legal system it's probably going to take another year or two before anything happens so oh, uh, does the sad part is there is some blowhard that blizzard act that thinks that in reality yeah no i know i know it's it's, it's fucking wrong all right so let's move on to something lighter and a little bit funnier because we're going to clown Trex a little bit. So uh, it's fun to clown Trex. We wish, we wish he was here to clown us. I actually have two articles. So I wasn't sure which one had the full full brunt of everything. So I want to make sure I, I want to make sure we covered all of this shit. All yeah, of yeah. it. Let's go. H oh, hang okay. on. Hang on, though. Okay. Before, before we do that, though, okay. before we clown on Trex, uh, because we know that's going to take a long time. Um, we, I, I still want to stay on the subject of, okay, okay. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, of, uh, not, not the whole suit thing, but just, uh, big, big video game developers or publishers, you know, just getting it in the A somehow in some, in some way. Um, according to, Motherboard by Vice. Hackers moved in to extort EA. They, oh shit! They I forgot to put this. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. I forgot to. No, that, that's you know, okay. That's I like. Fault. I that's saw fault. it. I saw it on the list. It's like, oh shit. I left I, that out uh, for some reason. I don't know why. When my, I I load them all up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I mean it. That's that's totally fine. Cause like, we're we were on the subject of of you know Activision and and. Yeah big corporations doing big bad things but uh, apparently EA is uh getting some kind of comeuppance from hackers um yeah. hackers um they stole some data sure. uh and are ransoming it essentially to EA um after trying to sell a cache of stolen data hackers are now dumping some of the information publicly in hopes of forcing EA to pay a ransom <laughs> oh it's, boy it's so, it's so bad but like but... why why i don't i don't care <laughs> the hackers who previously stole a wealth of data from gaming giant uh electronic arts have moved from trying to sell that data to now releasing parts of it publicly in one message on a forum accompanying the data dump hackers say explicitly that they are trying to extort ea um, <laughs> they don't even give a shit they're like <laughs> yeah, we're trying to we're trying to fuck him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Um, quote: A few weeks ago, we sent a uh, few weeks ago we sent email f uh, for ransom to EA, but we don't get any response. Oh my god! Okay, so they may be hackers, but they are not wordsmiths. Um, so we posting the SRC source, the source. Oh my god. One of the posts from the hackers reads, a compressed 1.3 gigabyte cache that the hackers released appears to include uh, references to internal EA tools and the company's origin store, according to the copy. Or, yeah, according to Motherboard, it's um, EA tools and, uh, let's see, 
in in the origin store. If uh, if they don't contact us or pay, we will keep posting it. The hackers um, are threatening. The data they stole totals in around 780 gigabytes. The data includes source code for the Frostbite engine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Used used in games as battle uh, oh yeah, such as Battlefield. Um the hackers also provided motherboard with screenshots that appear to show data related to the Sims. Uh, let's see. In a statement on Tuesday, an EA spokesperson told Motherboard we're aware of the recent post by the alleged hackers, and we are analyzing the files released. At this time, we continue to believe that it does not contain data that poses any concern to player privacy, and we have no reason to believe that they are in material risk to our games. Our business, um, our business or our players. We continue to work with federal law enforcement officials as part of the ongoing criminal investigation. Uh, let's see. EA added that it has made security improvements in the wake of this incident. <laughs> in messages, yeah, in messages over the past few weeks to Motherboard, the hackers have repeatedly claimed that they have sent ransom demands to EA. At the same time, EA told Motherboard that it has not received any such demands. Liar. The company, yeah, of course they're not going to confirm that. The company now said it has faced an extortion threat. Oh, so now they're admitting. Uh, at one point, <coughs> the hackers asked Motherboard to directly deliver an extortion message, extortion message to EA on their behalf. Motherboard declined to do so. So now the hackers have publicly aired their extortionist attempts themselves via forum, probably Reddit. <laughs> oh, jeez. So that's happening. Reddit. That's happening to EA. Um... Now, theft is ah, not they good. Can afford it. No, theft is theft is bad. Okay, but it's hard for me to be sympathetic because it's EA. Yeah, theft is mm. bad. Extortion is bad. EA also sometimes bad. Um, I won't condone these hackers' actions. I will not condone them. But no. I will say that. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Golden said, "Golden said I read one article where some security firms told EA that they had exploits and EA ignored them and never fixed the exploits. Ooh. So oh, come shit. up and on them twofold, probably they're thrice si fold. They're <laughs> sipping the tea right now. Mm -hmm. they're sipping that tea. But um, yeah, I mean." Theft is bad, okay? Um, EA... I mean, as long as the hackers um, didn't steal, like, private information uh, where, you know, employees or customers could have been doxxed or just, you know, have their identities stolen. I mean, as long as that never happened, EA can afford this. They They have... Someone's wallet is fat enough to be able to make a settlement. Um, be all right. To be all right. They have rainy day funds for whenever they get sued. Every, even hospitals have this. Um, they they have a, a, con a contingency account to like where they just set aside money for whenever they get sued or in this case ransom or extorted. Um, where they just have money sitting there in case something like this happens so they can afford it obviously they don't want to encourage hackers to extort their information and their product but you know if they did decide to do it on the down low and make them sign an nda um they can afford it i take this all as ea being so greedy that it's pure karma mm, that's fair oh definitely Definitely. Plus, uh, the whatever security firm uh, is definitely giving them the I told you so dance. I told you so. I told you so. <laughs> EA Sports, it's in the plan. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So something that wasn't in the plan is what's happening 
to these 3090 graphics cards for people to play <laughs> new amazing World. segue thanks golden so, uh, he, or he e think, sorry uh, yeah uh, EA thinks they are better than Sony and have selectively forgotten the, the Sony. Ha yeah, I know, dude. I know, I know. Okay. Uh, Amazon's New World game. This is that video cards with a Z. Dot com. Uh, Amazon's New World game is bricking GeForce RTX 3090 graphics cards. You know those graphics cards that cost upward of $500 uh, a retail and, like, you know, your firstborn child on the second market. Um Gamers with access to Amazon's New World are reporting that their cards are dying after just 15 to 30 minutes of playing the game Windows Central reports. It's probably not a good idea to play New World right now. The closed beta and alpha builds of this game have reportedly been a reason for the bricking of GeForce RTX 3090 graphics cards. Multiple users on the official games forum have reported. The issue appears to affect mainly GeForce 3090s, graphic, GeForce RTX 3090 graphic cards, which are reportedly overheating and see power spikes. The game has an uncapped frame rate in the main menus, which is usually associated with buzzing capacitors. Most users, however, reported that EVGA RTX 3090 cards specifically are the most affected brand. A number of the RTX 3090 cards have been bricked in the process. It is highly recommended not to play this game right now, at least not until developers publicly acknowledge the issue, not to mention release a patch. There's an update. Amazon Games releases the following statements. This is from Amazon Games. Okay, let's see. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people played in the New World Closed Beta yesterday. With millions of total hours played, we've received a few, a few reports of players using high-performance graphic cards experience hardware failure in playing New World. New World makes standard DirectX calls as provided by the Windows API. We have some. We have seen no indication of widespread issues with 3090s. I mean, how many people actually have 3090s for you to check these issues, either in the beta or during our many months of alpha testing? The New World closed beta is safe to play. In order to further reassure players, we will implement a patch today that caps frames per second on our menu screen. We've we're grateful for the support New World is receiving from players around the world, and we'll keep listening to their feedback and throughout beta and beyond. Um, wow. Uh, this is this is pretty wild. So uh, Kotaku was also covering it, and I thought they had some 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 uh, some pretty good information because uh, they had an update, right? Uh, update from today, right, at like six thirty p.m. Uh, in a statement sent to Kotaku, Amazon Games. Okay, so yeah, no, they sent the same. Never mind, I take that back. They sent the same fucking statement to Amazon, to, to Kotaku. Oh, okay. Now, uh, and, it, and it's also not just 3090s. There's also now starting reports of different high-end video cards all uh, dying because of this. It's kind of actually pretty mm -hmm. wild. Yeah, the issue being limited to a single model of card also means it is a hardware issue and not a problem with Amazon's new world in general. Wait, uh, so let's let's go. Over, I'm gonna go over this Kotaku thing a little bit. Um. Uh, so you, so my let's say what what's my GeForce? Uh, I have a GeForce RTX twenty seventy super super super. I had to look it up. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's not just limited to the thirty nineties anymore. There's uh, I, I found something. So I'm sorry, I, I I thought I put it up here, but I don't I don't I don't see it. Uh, yeah, so it's more than just the 3090s now. It's it's kind of wild that this is happening, and uh, the, it's ha it, it's really it's really hard for 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 this many people to report it, and it like not be a thing. I don't know. I don't want to say it's a hundred percent a thing because it might just be 3090s acting wild, but it just. So, so this was the one of the original posts uh, from a user named Goats. Uh, so after hitting the play button for New World Beta, the game started to load, followed immediately by fan speed increasing to 100%, FPS dropping to zero, and then my monitor turning off and my video card is no longer detected. So I rebooted the PC and everything seemed to work fine. I even tried a few other games to make sure and I had no problems. So I hit play on New World again and the same thing happened. But this time I heard a loud pop and now my 3090 won't get past post on boot up. This is the second 3090 FTW3 Ultra directly from EVGA to die while playing or attempted to play New World. My first one died during Alpha, but I was able to play that for a week or so before that happened. 
Uh, but the same exact thing happened with the card. It just happened while I was actually in the game. Anyway, I've contacted EVGA for a full refund on the video card or another RMA that made them aware of the issue. Now, it should be known as well that I have not had any other issues with any other dozens of games I played with that card for about eight months of having them both. Also, I have installed my old GTX 980. That's what I have. That's what I had. Uh, card a into the same PC, and it works fine with everything, including the world beta. No issue thus far in alpha or closed beta, so I'm not sure what the cause is here. Most likely, it's two defective cards from EVGA, but I think the issue needs to be looked at from both sides. If any other information is needed, please let me know, and I'll be I'll be happy to help. This So this, this could just be a giant fucking coincidence. It could just be a giant coincidence. Yeah, I mean... For for all we know, I mean, it's and it's because this is just happening. It could actually, it could be a um, a, what is it, uh, a flaw in the hardware, and not the software. And but the software happens to push that hardware just enough to where the flaw starts showing. But so, but like you said earlier, both sides need to investigate and see which is. Or which is at fault here, so they know, so someone knows to fix it and how. And it's and it's like this is only being reported on thirty ninety graphic cards. I find that very interesting as well, right? Yeah. Like n no one is saying. Uh, I read an article somewhere that like another card was affected. But I think it was just another brand that makes thirty ninety cards. Uh, so it's kind of wild to me. I blame Trex for liking the game. He jinxes games. I mean, he <laughs> definitely he definitely does that. That that is true. He does um, though. He get he looks so forward to these certain games nowadays. I, I think the only game immune so far is just DCUO. But uh he gets so excited about some of these games and then they they let him down sometimes. Like Avengers. Yeah, I know. See he, see he needs to be here so he can be triggered by Avengers that's, that's again. True. I know. He'd be he'd be <laughs> bitching right now. He'd be he'd be mad at us for, for blaming the game. Uh, and it, it just looks like it's just the EVGA brand too. Like that's what most people are reporting, which is which is which is interesting all on its own. So, uh, uh, needless to say, uh, if you're playing New World and you happen to have an EVGA 3090, cap your frame rate. Go into the settings, cap your frame rate. Even though I think they're putting out an update that does it for you automatically, but uh, it, it's probably good good to cap your frame rate. It's um, it's pretty wild. I, I don't. I I mean, I don't understand why it would overheat 3090s to a point where it's blowing capacitors and not other cards so uh, other high-end cards I, I i don't know it's got to be some weird ass like crazy yeah. thing with frame rate and uh, i don't know it could be a hard like hardwired like i either way um the, the whoever the manufacturer are of, this, of these um faulty 390s need to have need to know whether or not they need to do a recall of some sort oh shit so yeah um oh, all right so there you go fam that's it that's the show all right uh we appreciate everyone coming out and if you've made it this far on youtube don't forget we're live every wednesday at 9 30 p.m eastern ish talking about the video games you can join in all the time video games and video game drama i had to throw that in for air and you know it's video games and video game related drama okay um, over at uh, twitch.tv slash nerds of the apocalypse. You can join in all the chats. It's a lot of fun. Like Aaron and Dodge and War and Raph and Arwen and all these awesome people that come by and, and chat with us, everyone. Uh, it's not, though. What's not, though? It's, it's not game drama. It is game drama. It's a, we talk about game drama here and Twitch drama. That's right. We, we also talk about Twitch drama sometimes. Okay. I, I understand. You're right. Uh, which which kind of is a little bit like game drama. You probably disagree, but um, we'll just uh, have to agree to disagree because we're adults. Uh, streamer doing non gaming isn't game drama. Uh, well, they, they kind of play games and then they, they play don't games. Play... They're gamers. It's a game drama. Yeah, yeah there you go. Boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. We'll just have to be adults and agree to disagree on that. Okay, Aaron? I'm sorry. Uh, I love you, though. I love you a lot. Take that. Womp, womp. Uh, wait, did you just womp womp my I love you? That, that That's okay. Anyway. Did you just change me into Final Fantasy 14? How dare. <laughs> Wait, what? like a little blip. You clicked what? on something, I'm pretty sure, and I oh, turned yeah? into a video game. <laughs> My bad. 
Oh, oh, it must, it's my it's my desktop background. I, I have a picture of us. Uh, one of our screenshots is my desktop background. So I think oh. I, just, I must have just quickly swapped to my desktop real quick. Sorry. Um, gotcha. But yeah, that's what that's what happens when you make fun of my I love yous. Okay, that's that's what happens. So don't forget. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, Trex keeps not liking FF14. Yoshi P is loving it. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> lies exposed what i can i can play 14 if i'm not the one actually running the show today i got the stream going okay you guys will be able to hear it and that's and that is how i okay look i'm i recognize now that that's how that emote is you that that's how it's being used and i will start using it that way i just wanted to clear that up i don't want just people think that i'm creeping on that ridiculous ass talk like i don't it's not I, I mean, I can I can be fucked up, but I'm not that fucked up. Not even a little bit. Like I don't. That is, I'm not about I'm not about that life. Um. Uh. uh oh, you put the tricks, the spider tricks. I, I did. Like, what the fuck I is did. That? I, I love that. It's so funny. Um. All right. So yeah, we will be back next week talking about the video game news. Maybe maybe tricks. Uh, also nice shave, Steven. Thank you. I didn't actually mean to do it. If I'm being honest with you, it was one of those things where I was like. Let me. I was trying to clean it up and like cut it down, and then went Hoom! like it just went, Hoom! and I was like, Hoom! and so I, I just like had a big space, and I was like, well now I gotta fucking, now I gotta go tee it up, so I can so I go tee it, uh, but thank you very much, appreciate. It. Um, so so yeah, we will be back on Wednesday with with with, uh, with more more uh, more more video game noise. Hopefully, Chuck's will be back with us. We'll be a trio again. Um, or else, we'll go to his house and fucking. Say please, please turn your stream. Uh, that's what we'll do. Um, Go to his house and fuck him. Is that no. what you just said? <laughs> and, and 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 tell him to please turn on his stream. What? No. <laughs> oh my god, that's not what I said at all. Okay, uh, I said and fucking tell him to turn on his stream. That's what I like. <laughs> oh my god. All right. That is not what the audience heard, Stevie. <laughs> That is not what I heard. <laughs> there, there, I was, I was playing a game with Raph Prime called God Eater Three, uh, uh -huh. and there's like this demon that looks like a little girl that follows you around, right? And I spawned it in the game, and I was talking about Aaron that said something on Discord, right? And mm -hmm. at the t I wasn't paying attention to the game, but at the, at the, when I spawned in the game. The, the the child was facing me in the game and like right in the crotch and someone in the chat was like that doesn't look very legal and I thought they were talking about what I was looking at on the discord that Aaron put in there and I was like I will make it legal and then and then I focused on the game and was like wait 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 no no I was like that's not what I was talking about and Heather just happened to be watching the stream randomly she never really watched it in the other room and I just hear whoa and I was like oh my god like that's not what I was talking about it looked very bad it looked very bad but it was it was terrible look out of context clips uh you were saying I don't look legal what the fuck no oh my god okay I, I can't win I'm not I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try to win uh, so, uh, Free Company Friday will be on Friday. I've been doing it on Saturday this past two weeks, but it will be on Friday this week because Elena's birthday this weekend. We're going out to dinner Saturday night. Uh, she wants to go to a fancy melting pot dinner, so we're going to go there. And then on Sunday, we're going to go to Frankie's and play some miniature golf um, and have some fun. So, um, this weekend, I'll be kind of locked up. Well, not locked up, but that's bad to say. Uh, I'll be uh, unavailable. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Locked up is bad. Like, my, my family doesn't lock me up, you know, like. I'm just going to be uh, spending more time with them than usual because of my kid's birthday. Turning 12. Aww. Turning 12. So, um, very exciting. Uh, I'm, I got her I got her uh, Stardew Valley on the Switch. That's a good one, right? That's a good one, right? I hear it's pretty good, especially if you were obsessed with Animal Crossing. Yeah, she, she plays it all the time. She likes that. Yeah, and so and get that. and Stardew Valley has a lot of shipping and relationships in it, oh. like okay. sweet ones, not not okay, dirty okay. ones. Okay, 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 okay. Look, the more virtual relationships she have, the probably the less real life ones. So, yeah. that's, that's, that's a W W. 
Um, I, and and she's turning 12, so that's a very impressionable age. So I set know, the bar I super know. high already. So it's become unattainable. Well, it's going to be her first time at middle school in August because, you know, she <sighs> was quarantined through half of fifth grade, all of sixth grade. So now she's going into seventh grade for the first time. Middle wow. School. Have to re-acclimate herself to being around children her age. She's been around young-ass kids for the past year and a half. It's going to be a trying few weeks. The B family is... is, is it's, and it's my son's first year in school he's starting kindergarten so it's like she's going back as a fucking 12 year old to deal with that shit and then he's starting school for the first time and you know what i'm hearing and this is just because that i don't have kids you know what i'm hearing uh you're gonna have the house like you're gonna well no you're you're still working but no kids in the house <laughs> Heather, Heather Heather runs a home daycare, so unfortunately, there will still be little last kids all over the house over there. Well, dang. I know, I know. I, I and because of that, because my kids are going to school, I have to go out and buy a bigger fucking car now, so she can like be able to take them all with them and drop the kids off at the school. So, I have to trade wow. in my my car to get a bigger. It's okay. It, it's my car. It's time. You know, like when you have a car and you're like, it's time. It's time. So yeah, it's, yeah. I've 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 had, I've had her for a long time. The Malibu. Malibu. Hey. That's what. Wow. Uh, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I'm taking I'm taking Heather's car because it's newer, and then we're getting her a bigger, a bigger car, one of the a three row. Nice. That's how you know. You, how you know you've, my you've um, my parents just hair. got a Honda Pilot, and it's fancy as fuck. Uh, I've been riding it all week or for the past few days. Um, it's got a a huge ass, like metal board or whatever touch screen and it also turns like when you go in reverse it turns into a camera like when you're backing up you you can you can see how you're backing up and it has like this overlay where like it, it shows you the lines but it also bends with you as you turn so it it you get an approximation of like whether or not it, it, it's an indicator of whether or not you're going to run into shit or not uh, and it's got, of course, like the alert system to where if some asshole is speeding up in your blind spot and you don't see them right away, the, the car will beep. But, um, fancy as fuck. Sponsored by Honda Pilot. They're fancy as fuck. No, just kidding. Uh, I wish, <laughs> wish they sponsored. Um, all right. So that's it, fam. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll see you next week. I'll see you on Friday with some more uh, Final Fantasy fourteen action. I'm, of course, Stevie B. And my amazing class night has been Xtina's Ninja. Xtina's Ninja. Don't forget to check her out. I'm the big brain. <laughs> oh. Chat, chat, you gave me a big brain. You gave me big brain moments. Big I brain. Did, I did. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you haven't yet, please go give Xtina a follow on her Twitch channel. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, it is in the info. All right, we love you awesome nerds. We'll see you next week. And don't forget, we're just part of Nerds of the Apocalypse. And we're out. We love you. Bye. Good night. Hey, nerds. <laughs> 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 <She's> fucking nerds. <laughs>